always dreamed of living in the mountains. I moved here in 2005 for just one season in the snow. I've seen a lot of ideas, a lot of project proposals, a lot of initiatives, and a lot of resources spent on various independent projects. But back in 2012, one issue ripped the community in two. One that wanted to see improved flood control along the Kicking Horse River Dyke, beautify a back alley, and borrow some money to do so. And one group that didn't want to make that investment. The status quo prevailed. And the community didn't come back together. It didn't heal. In fact, it, became, it continued to split continue to fester, and with those that want focus that through and focus to, and prosperity to return through traditional resource extraction and expansive development, and those that are looking for balanced growth in the future. This presentation is about the latter. This presentation is about a dream, and this presentation is about Riverfront Gold. Riverfront Gold is a simple creative way to explore the possibilities for the land, the water, and the people. Riverfront of Golden includes places to play, to work, to rest, to learn, and to live. It is for everyone and leverages our unique geography. It honors the community's past, learns from places around the world, and supports a prosperous and sustainable future. Riverfront Golden is a restart, a chance to become positive, to come together, to celebrate our differences and keep us unique. If our community and the people in this room today have any chance of determining our future, it is time to discuss the possibilities. For it is only when possibilities become priorities that plans can be shaped and resources allocated. The sum of a well-conceived grassroots plan is greater than its parts. And everyone has a chance and a responsibility to play a part in the Golden's evolution of riverfront culture. What does your riverfront golden look like? Let's start upstream. Let's start just inside the canyon. Perhaps it starts with a new high pedestrian bridge and bungee, creating another green tourism attraction, enabling citizens and visitors alike to get from Golden Hill to Keith King Memorial Park. Broad Pedestrian trails weave through expanded campground and complete with glamping Quonsets or Otentics. Who's heard of Otentics before? Yes. So these, these new amenities retain Whitewater Park enthusiasts who can be found playing in the new features. One of them was playing here. Just downstream, the Mount Seven Reflex has been repurposed and leased out as an action sport and gymnastics training facility, attracting high performance athletes <coughs> from around the world. Imagine Highway 95 Bridge has been replaced, making it easier for pedestrians, cyclists, and families with strollers or walkers to get around. Ninth Avenue businesses have two storefronts, one on the street and one facing the river, to make the most of the inevitable civil infrastructure investments that will come. Spirit Square, the heart of our community, boasts a new stage and outdoor performances for all tastes. <coughs> there are places for the young and old to sit, to talk, to meet, and to eat. Rafters, pull out here, clean up, and celebrate on one of, many, or on one of our many patio bars. Bikers, use the free tuning or free repair station and then head out into our massive Moonraker trail network, perhaps using one of the cable ferries crossing the Columbia River. Dogs and owners alike frolic in the fenced dog park next to the old mill. Everyone has a smile on their face. Everyone is able to earn a livable wage in the community, and we all see an increase in our quality of life. But this is just a dream. <coughs> Riverfront Gold and any significant improvements in our quality of life can only come through proper engagement 
thorough planning, holistic decision making, and resource allocation. We have the foundation. We need a secondary waterfront plan. And we need to set priorities based on solid data, on benefits, not just costs. We need to set decision criteria before we pick projects. And we need you to engage, to vote, to volunteer, to participate, and to dream.